To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Now we will understand how to apply formulae like sum if, sum ifs, count if, count ifs to extract meaningful information from the given data set. For example, if I want to find out how much of sales has this salesperson Charlie made in the entire year, one thing which is very simpler is apply your filter Alt A T, then come to the salesperson column, use the drop down option, deselect all and select Charlie, you get the total sales and you can copy this to a different table or simply you can select this and see okay. Sales made by Charlie is 13,902, right? Sales made by Charlie is 13,902. You can directly select it and the answer will be available. But what if you want to find out for different salesperson? You can't keep on doing filtering every time and doing a manual summation, right? Now, there is one another formula called subtotal with the help of which you can find out the totals of a filtered column that we'll understand slightly later. Before that, we'll understand the formula that I was mentioning, sum ifs, sum if, count if and count ifs, right? Now, what do these formula mean? Let me remove these filters for now. I've cleared the filter and removed the filter as well. Now, for a moment, assume, I'll just add a column here, control space and one column here, sales, okay? Ignore this product for now. I want to know how much sales has this person Charlie made in the entire year? That is what my objective is. So, I cannot use a simple formula called sum because when I do sum, everything will get selected. I just want to find the total or sum in this particular revenue column wherever I see Charlie. So, basically I am asking Excel, go to the table, search for Charlie, the, wherever there is a mention of Charlie, find the total of this column that is revenue. Okay. So, the formula is sum if. What is the formula? Sum if. So, I say sum if use the tab and you can see what is the syntax. Now it is asking you range, criteria and sum range. Now what do these mean? Let me expand this formula. Range. Range is the list of cells that you want to evaluate. Now what does that mean? Basically it means where is that you want Excel to go and search for Charlie? Where is that you want to ask Excel to go and search for Charlie? Now where is that? That particular location is somewhere here in column B. So what will I do? I'll use control shift down arrow and select this. I'll use control shift down arrow and select this. Now we always know the problem with having a dynamic reference is if I have to copy paste the formula, it will keep on changing. So one option is you can fix, use the F4 and fix the cell reference. Now the problem with this is if you add any further data that doesn't get captured because Excel will stop looking after 174. So the best way to handle such a situation is to select the entire column, to select the entire column right from top to bottom. So I'll just remove this and I'll apply the formula once again equal to sum if and come to this column B and use control space. Now what happens? Sum if B is to B, that is the entire column is selected. Then whenever I add data, there is no problem. Whenever I, you know, uh, delete a data, then also there is not a problem. Only problem is if I copy this formula and paste it to a different column, then B is to B will become C is to C. So that is what you need to be careful about. Otherwise, B is to B is a good reference or I can lock it saying dollar $B to dollar $B, entire column. Why did I not restrict myself to 174? Because at a future date, if I have to add data or if I have to add a row, I have to keep on updating the formula manually. So I have selected the entire column, right? Sum if B is to B or dollar $B is to dollar $B. This is the place where I want Excel to go and search for Charlie. So, comma, I'll again expand this. So what happened? The entire thing says Charlie, Charlie, Suras. This is the enlisting done by Excel. Criteria. Now, what is the criteria? Criteria is something what I want Excel to search. Where to search is range. Criteria is what to search. What do I want it to search? I want, to, I want it to search Charlie. So, I have selected I2. Why did I select I2? Because I want Excel to search Charlie. Then, after that is done, the third thing is sum range. Now, what is this sum range? Sum range is after searching for Charlie, what do you want Excel to sum up? Which is the column which the Excel should total. So, I'll come and select this particular column, revenue F is to F. 
and press enter you get 3902 now few things that you need to keep in mind is if you are not selecting the entire column let me do in the second case equal to sum if open brackets range range is where should the excel look for data so i'll select column b to column b right now always remember you have to fix these cells so that whenever you copy paste the formula it's not a problem now whether you have to fix a column or not that depends on where you want to copy and paste the data so for now i'm not fixing it comma range comma criteria what is the criteria criteria is suraj so i'll just select suraj here i3 sum range sum range is this entire thing now i should not be selecting 175th row because when i have defined the range i have selected only up to 174 so range and your sum range should have the same counts so i should not be doing that i should select only up to 174 close the brackets and press enter now you can see suraj i have sold more 20638 right now if i copy this and paste it here i get peter sales to be 21 21607 but you see this b1 became b2 174 became 175 i3 became i4 that is fine it has to be i4 again some range also changed so and if i copy this and paste it here it says reference why because here it is b1 if i move it by 1 there is nothing called b0 so it became a reference so that is why it is always advisable to lock the cells now here i would want to lock the row reference and row reference here and then if i copy and paste it is perfectly done so this is how we can use sum to find out from a given set of data how much of sales has a specific sales person made now is it that i can do only for sales person no i can do it for a product also so for product i'll have to change if i want to do for a product what i'll do is i'll copy this i'll cut this from here i'll copy this from here and i'll paste it here i want to find out the total sales of ice cream i want to find out total sales of ice cream so equal to sum if range now the range changes to product so i'll select the entire range comma criteria what is the criteria ice creams comma i want total of revenue so you get the revenue of ice creams copy and paste it here you get the revenue of juices and cookies so like this you can summarize the data using sum ifs now that was one criteria what if i want to know sales made by charlie for ice creams what if i want to know sales made by suraj for juices what if i want to know sales made by peter for cookies i am not asking one criterion i am asking two criteria what am i asking ice creams sales of ice creams by charlie sales of ice cream by charlie now here i will use i need the revenue for this i will be using sum ifs for this i will be using sum ifs sum ifs means more than one condition so equal to sum ifs now the moment i use sum ifs you will see a difference that here the first thing is sum range what is that sum range comes first in case of sum if formula sum range came towards the end if you go back and check and expand this particular thing sum range came towards the end but whenever we are using sum ifs range sum range comes first so basically you have to first define what is that you want to sum up so we want to sum up revenue i'll select this revenue thing and lock it i don't want it to change as i keep on moving the data sets comma criteria range 1 and criteria 1 now what does this mean this basically you have to say what is the first criteria you want excel to check so you want excel to check product which is ice cream so first you have to define what is the criteria range where do you want excel to go and search we want excel to go and search in this particular thing so you will select the product and lock this here because i don't want the product references to be changed comma what is that you want to search you want to search for ice cream that is the first criteria then second criteria what is the second criteria range second criteria range should be sales person so you put comma it says criteria range 2 and criteria 2 so criteria range 2 is sales person i'll lock it and criteria is charlie and i'll close the packet because we are only looking at 
टू क्राइटेरिया प्रेस सेंटर यू गेट थ्री सेवन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्सटी थ्री एंड सेवनटीन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर सो पीटर हैज सोल्ड सेवनटीन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर वर्थ ऑफ कुकीज लाइक दिस यू कैन एड वन मोर क्राइटेरिया आई वॉन्ट सो आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस I want month in the month of April. In the month of April, how much of ice creams did Charlie sell? So, so here I'll have to add one more criteria. So use F2 comma press F2 one more time so that you can edit the formula using the buttons on the keyboard up and down arrows. So use F2 and I want to add month. I'll select the month, lock it, and the criteria is April. And you press enter. See, it becomes nine seventy two zero and three six four eight. Means Suraj has not sold juice in the month of April. Can we check that? Let us do that. I'll apply a filter Alt T. I'll just select the month of April and I'll select juice. No Suraj. Only Charlie has sold juices, right? So remove the formula using Alt T. See, this is how you can apply multiple. parameters or multiple criteria to filter the data